Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. And isn't this just beautiful except for the fact Millie where watch out! Excuse you, car, I guess I'm on its road, but still. <laughs> but isn't this just beautiful? I tell you what, it's been a very interesting day here, and so it's very exciting to be able to come in and just admire such a beautiful world. I mean, look at that castle. Oh gosh, you know, we've not really gone up close to see just what's going on with these wagons yet. I wonder if there's something for sale over there. Let's ride over there and see what's going on. And then we are gonna continue working on, ooh, is this the horse farm? I think I saw something about like the horse uh, horse market. This is the horse market, isn't it? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at all the colors, look at all the different breeds. Wow, look at that one, it looks like a caramel tree. This is so cool. I think this is the horse market. And I think that it moves around every week and that's what I see in the weekly updates. So this is awesome. Here's a whole bunch of the different horses. Everyone keeps telling me to uh, look for a quarter horse and that they're one of the best ones to get. Oh, this is a nice looking horse. Hello, how are you? Who are you, my friend? This is a Jorvik pony. Oh, this is so cute. The single-minded, stubborn little ponies. I can actually afford this one, too. Oh, my gosh. Melody Warrior, we're going to have to think about this. I've been holding out to try to get one of these horses, or one that looks kind of like this. Because another Tinker Horse. These manes, the Tinker Horse manes, and I think the Black Forest, if there's a Black Forest somewhere around here, their manes and their general appearance are just totally enchanting to me. Oh my goodness. Hello, lovelies. Who are you? You've got some nice spots. The Oldenburg. Uh, found in, founded in Germany in the 1600s. Initially intended as an elegant carriage horse, it has since become a horse that is frequently featured in international competitions. Very cool. So it's got good discipline, good agility, good strength. Nice. All right. And here's Ferdinand. Hello, sir. Good day to you. My name is Ferdinand, and this is Ferdinand's Horse Market. Welcome. Who do I have the honor of addressing? Saga? How nice. I hope you find everything you seek and more in my humble market. May I ask in the name of in your, the name of your wonderful steed? Maldi Warrior. What a lovely name. Horses are my life, you see. All the horses you see on this fair are raised on my family grounds, high up in the Jorvik's tallest mountain. Ever so often, my wife and I travel to the lowland to find new owners for our horses. But not whoever comes around. I would never let my horses be purchased by, careless by a careless individual. That would be unforgivable. I can see you are a decent and responsible human being. So if you <laughs> see a horse you want to buy, it would be my pleasure. It would pleasure me immensely to see you become its owner. Anyhow, don't let me take up any more of your valuable time. I'm going to... Wait! Someone is shouting! It sounds like my wife, and her voice is angry! Saga, uh, I have to remain on my spot here. Would you be a dear and see what has befallen her? Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, when you get reputation with Ferdinand's horse market? Okay, so we need to speak with his wife. Oh gosh, well this just got pretty exciting. I thought we were gonna go collect some of that uh, milled flour that we had prepared a few days ago. But I wanna come over, hello, Eddie. Eddie, what an awesome name. I love her hair, can I have her hair? Good day to you. Pardon me, I must be looking hideous at the moment. Not at all. Here I am, halfway, <laughs> halfway down in the mud working. When visitors arrive, it's so typical. Who am I speaking to? Saga, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Adina, but you may call me Eddie. Everyone I know does. We'll have to speak later. I need to get th this work done, or maybe you could help me? Ooh, okay, well, we'll help her out. Oh, Saga, every time it's the same. The trip down the mountain is fine, on its narrow and horrid paths winding their way down the steeps. Later, when we've made it to civilization, to nice and flat roads, things start to fall apart. I have no idea why this is, but it's like this every time. Today, the wagon wheel broke. It's not hard to repair. You only need a hammer and nails, but it takes time. You know what? If I fix this wheel, maybe you can fix the other broken wagons. You can? Thanks. Have a look at the wagons here and see if you can fix the broken wheels you come across. Return to me when you're done. See you later. Alright, so apparently this is pretty easy and we get a mystery item and mystery uh, amount of shillings for completing this. So I have no problem with helping out. This is kind of interesting. Oh, look, look, look. There's one of the wheels. I wonder, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get off Melody for this. So I'm going to leave her here for the moment. And then I'm going to run around a little bit. Ooh, Mousewood. What a cute name. I love looking at all the different names people have. Alright, and I'm not Melody, so I can't jump over this. Can I oh, use a bent nail? Do I have a bent nail? Yep. All right. There we go. 
All right. Oh, that's so cool. So we helped to fix this wagon with a bent nail. Well, you can tell that they're kind of um, they're kind of pulling. Oh, they're frugal. You know, they're they're pulling everything out that they can. Wow, what a pretty horse market. So let's come over here. And what do we need? Another bent nail. Oh, we have four bent nails. I wonder if the nails are supposed to be bent for this. What the heck am I holding? A rusty hammer. And then, are these my gloves or like quest gloves? Starter gear. Okay. And then, wait, where'd the other wagon go? Ah, there it is. So last bent nail for this wagon right here. All right, there we go. So we fixed all the broken wheels to help with the horse market. This is fun. Oh, all right, Eddie. There, this wheel is finally repaired. Yeah. How long? How did it go for you, Saga? Wow, you fixed all the other broken wheels on our wagons. Not bad. Thanks a lot. I think it's time for lunch. Here you go. Take one of my homemade sandwiches. Enjoy your meal. Oh, that's so cool. We got a sandwich. That is so neat. So let's see. Perfect if you're going for an outdoor ride. That's awesome. What else can I help you with, Eddie? Lunch for the wagoner. So now, do I have to do I have to give up my sandwich? <laughs> yum yum, tasty sandwich, huh? Listen, you can hand a sandwich to our wagoner, Goofy. Can you hand a sandwich to our wagoner, Goofy Lars? He hasn't had lunch yet. He's sitting on the wagon over there. All right, no problemo. But, but now I have to give up my sandwich. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I wasn't that hungry anyway. And here's Goofy Lars. Uh, he looks a lot like the guy with the kitten inside of Silverglade. Maybe they're related. Excuse me, sir. How are you? Oh, oh, oh. What's this lovely smell? Ah, a sandwich with sniff, sniff, ham, mustard, sniff, tomato. Ah, give me quick. Thanks. If I'm going, if I'm going to eat it, not yet. First, I'm going to enjoy its lovely aroma. Oh my goodness, we have a food connoisseur among us, you guys. If you want to know anything about the horse market, just ask me. Awesome. Mm. Ferdinand and Eddie are remarkable horse breeders from Yorvik's most remote mountain areas. I am Nas Lars, their cousin and best friend. I only help around with this and that. There's always work to be done. We move the horse market around a lot. Staying in one place for long isn't our cup of tea. We always want to go to the next exciting place. One week we're in the Harvest count Counties, the next week someplace else. As I said, we travel a lot, and often it takes us a week to get everything up and running once we've arrived someplace. So often we're not open at all. Make sure to come and see us when we're around. You never know when we'll be back. That's really cool. All right, so we learned a little bit more about them. All right, let's run back over to her. Blueberry Field. Oh, these names are so cool. Oh, I almost forgot. My husband needs to get his sandwich as well. Take this to him and tell him you helped me with our wagons. See you. All right. Oh, we get another mystery item. Ooh, look at that reputation. <laughs> That's hilarious. You bring him his sandwich and you just get like a huge good reputation with him. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's come over here to Fernando. Fern Ferdinand. He's kind of stuck between somebody right now. Oops. Sorry, Chloe. I didn't mean to do that. How do I clear that away? Who knows? Um, I'm trying to talk to him. There we go. Good day to you again, dear Saga. What's that incredible smell? Oh, ho, a sandwich from my darling wife. How nice. So, could you help her with something? You helped her fix the wagon, the wheels on our wagons? How noble of you. Let me give you this small trifle as reward. I hope you had a good time at our market. You're always welcome here. Oh, thank you so much. Yay, okay, I'm gonna accept this. All right, your reputation has increased. We're now friendly, dis like a friendly disposition with Ferdinand and his wife and everybody at the horse market. This is mm. fun. Oh, dearest Saga, it's truly lovely that you come up to see us. You're a little ray of sunshine sent to brighten up our day. You mark my words. If you've got a little spare time, do you think you might help us out with a tiny errand? I can't tell if he's buttering us up or if he's just like genuinely really happy to see us. I'm sort of nor nervous. Oh, that's a beautiful pony. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's pretty. Wow, I can't wait till we have an, um, enough star coins saved up every week to be able to go and get a new horse. Oh my gosh, look at its mane. That's so cool. It reminds me of a meerkat for some reason. Anyway, ah, oh, wonderful saga. That's really lovely of you. You see, our horses are looking a little bit sad. They've been eating hay, hay, and only hay for a while now, so clearly they could use a bit of variation. Couldn't you ride on over to our old friend Barney, who lives all the way over by the silos, and ask him if he has any spare carrots? Our horses really love carrots, and they're always happiest when they're munching on Barney's vegetables. Hmm, I wonder what happened the last time they've eaten Barney's vegetables. <laughs> what happened last time they they'd eaten Barney's vegetables? I 
I've got it in the back of my mind that something weird happened. Meh, my memory isn't what it used to be, dear Saga. Trot over to Barney and tell him I said hello. All right, well, we'll do that. And you get really great reputation for doing this stuff. So I think we actually had to go over to Barney anyway to be able to get some uh, wheat. So let's come over to Eddie. Hello, Saga. Do you think you could help me with a little errand? I haven't got time to leave the market just now. I don't blame her either with this many horses. Uh, but the rent needs to be paid. Oh my gosh, on like your house back in the mountains? She's got such pretty hair. You're one of my most trustworthy friends, so I could certainly rely on you to get the envelope of Jorvik shillings to the councilman in Silverglade Village. It'll be light work for a writer of your ability. You'll do it? Oh, thank you, Saga. All right, well, we'll take on this too. We'll take her rent. Oh man, I have no problem with this. These people are nice. All right, hello, Thistledown. Okay, let's climb on up. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to ride over. Um, let's go ahead and go over to the silo first. Because we already have quite a bit to do over there. Alright, Melody, let's not get hit by... Let's try not to get hit by a car. Alright, there she goes. Ah, she can jump now! That's so awesome! I love it! We might have to go on a race later to just to try out her jumping. Alright, Barney, we've got two quests for you, sir. Alright, Amazing Grains is one of them. Here's the grain. Now bring that to Steve and the birds. Yay! So we get to help the birds over there too. This is gonna be awesome. And then, why well, hello there, Saga. What luck you happen to stop by. All right, so apparently he needs our help with something. Oh no, 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 it's horrific. There are little rodents all over my field. I need to get rid of them, but my approach doesn't seem to be working. The little beasties are too clever for old Barney. Can you give it a go, Saga? We need more stinky cheese, you guys. It's not that tricky, but I'm guessing you'll have to be quicker and more cunning than I am if you're gonna have a chance at getting close enough. Here, have a look. My vulvulsia? A ghastly instrument, but super effective when it comes to scaring the living daylights out of vermin. What on earth is it? If you can just get close enough uh, to the little good-for-nothings before you blast on my Vavulsia, you'll see that they run for their lives. Oh my gosh, so this would really help with Ferdinand's horse market, interestingly enough. It's like an instrument! It's a music instrument that we're gonna go blast at some mice. Oh my gosh! Music for the mice. This is gonna be pretty interesting. Oh, why can we not jump through here? So annoying. So annoying. All right. All right. Hang on, Melanie. I don't know if we can even go through this, Melanie. Can we just like blast through here? Here we go. There we go. There. I know, right, Melanie? Poor Melanie's feeling pretty miserable. Oh no, we need to get her some fresh water. Okay, I promise we'll get you some fresh water in just a minute, Melanie. For now, we need to get close to the little vermin. These are not so little. Oh my gosh! Try sneaking up on it from behind. What? These are like... These are like the size of deer! Oh my goodness! Alright, well let's come over here and try to blast this weird little horn. Near this little guy. Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute, you guys! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Can I just like stand right by him? He doesn't even notice me. He's so cute and innocent. Oh gosh! All right. Well, we've we've got to we've got to scare him, cause he's eating he's eating the crops, and that's a that's a no go. All right. Enough of this nonsense. The rodent freaks out and runs away from the fields. Oh, Melody Warrior, let's get you out of the way. Oh gosh! I know. I'm trying to get her out of the way. Stop honking at us. I'm trying to help with your rodent problem. All right, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like ridiculous. Okay, you're just gonna have to loop around. This is the most hilarious thing I think I've ever done. Oh my goodness, at least we're not putting out traps for them. Hey, take this. Oh, I missed it. All right, let's try again. All right, we'll try coming from this angle. All right, now we're behind the little guy. All right, rodent freaks out, runs away from the field. Oh, we, we chased off enough of them. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. All right, come on, Melanie Warrior, you can do it, and jump. Oh, that was amazing. Ouch, except I hit the, the sacks of uh, whatever that grain sack must be. All right. Haha, -ha, what a sight it was to see you sneaking up and blowing the Vavulsia on those little monsters. Thanks a lot, Saga. All right, well, we completed that. We are getting some really good, whoops, and then let's go ahead. Old Pie, what a cute name. 
we are getting some really good, uh, <laughs> some really good reputation too. I'm actually super impressed because if we go over to reputation, I mean, Moreland Stables likes us all right, and Silverglade Village likes us okay. Fort Pinta is kind of like eh. But then, like, the horse market is already just like, we love you. This is so cool. All right, let's keep going. Mm. So, there was, was there something in particular you wanted? Carrots for Ferdinand and Eddie? Why, of course. Here's a b huge batch of my best carrots. Tell them I said hello. It's been far too long since we saw each other. All right. Well, this is fantastic. Now we've got the carrots. We're, we're doing pretty good, if you ask me, you guys. All right, so we're going to head back into Silverglade. I kind of... We'll stop by the farm on our way there to go to the well and be able to get Melody a little bit more water because she's kind of thirsty and I want to take good care of her. Through the bushes! Look at us go! It'd be fun if you could start a little bush... like birds out of the bushes now and then just as a little atmospheric touch of adorableness. All right, let's take a turn. Come on, Melody, We're almost there! There we go! And we've actually got the bird seed for this guy and I can come over. Look, you've got the little stinky cheese traps everywhere still. That's adorable. And I'm going to come over and we're going to get Melanie a little bit of water because she is in need of more water. All right, there we go. All right, Melanie. And let's come over and... There you go, there you go, Melanie. There you go. You want water? There we go. And now Melanie's happy because she's got the water she needs. Then we're going to come over to Steve. Hmm. Wonderful! My birds can finally eat to their heart's content. Well, awesome! And so we completed that part, and he actually has something for us. Let's see. Feed the birds. Would it be too much to ask if you fed the birds as well? Just put the grain in the, on the bird tables, and they will flock around you. I think some birds are fleeing from the Everwind Field since GED has started to drill for, for, for oil over there. Poor birds. Oh my gosh, look at the little kitten and the little bunny! Oh, that's so cute! Alright. So let's go ahead. We're going to feed the birds. I'm super excited about that. Are they really going to flock to me? I want to see the birds. Are they going to... Hello? Hello, birds? Oh, I really wanted them to, like, actually flock to me. I was super excited about that. That's okay. We'll stir we are still putting food out for the birds, which is very nice. Where the heck's the rest of the little bird feeders? Let's find them. Stay there for a second, Melody Warrior. Aha! So there's one of the bird feeders around back, right over here. And then, let's see, here's Justin. Justin, he's, he like surprised me sneaking away from Moreland. Ah, there's more bird feeders elsewhere. So let's jump back on Melandy because it seems like they're kind of scattered about. All right, where's my Melandy? There's our Melandy and Thistledown! Thistledown, I wish I could sneak you one of the carrots. Like, I, I probably would too. If, if I really could, I would sneak Thistledown one of the carrots that are meant for the horse market horses. All right, let's come over here. Where is the next bird feeder? There's a bird feeder. All right, so we'll wiggle over here. And there's another bird feeder. So drop some in here. And then is the last one behind us? It's kind of hard to tell on the map sometimes. I wish you could kind of zoom in sometimes. Um, I think it is. I think it's over here somewhere. I seem to be closing in on it. Let's keep our eyes out for sparkly things. Ah, there we go. There's a sparkly thing right over here. And this will be the last little bird feeder. Boink! There we go. So now we've got the birds fed. We are protecting the mice with the stinky cheese. We have got a letter and some carrots to complete our little quest. And I think that will be good for today because we've, we've done quite a bit of help. And we've found the horse market, which is really exciting. We'll have to visit with them a little bit more. All right, Steve, there you are. Feed the mm. birds. Look how happy they are. I must say you make an excellent bird feeder. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve. Anything else? I've made a really nice uh, racetrack for you to try out. Oh, that's cool. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's try it. Let's try out Steve's racetrack. Because I think that would be fun. All right. Come on, Melanie. Come on. Go faster. Go faster. I know you're having a bad day. But let's just try this out. All right. I'm not sure how big it's supposed to be. But every little bit helps Melanie Warrior train. Okay, over here. All right, and we can actually jump now. That should make things a lot easier. All right, come on, Melody. Come on, we can do this. Oh my gosh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All right, I actually want to try out the sticky cheese race next time because I think that would be fun too. Go, Melody, go. All right, sharp turn. Like really ridiculously sharp turn. Oh, we did it. Oh, jump, Melody. Oh, but go this way quickly. Phew, and this way quickly. Oh, fudge to the knuckles, fudge to the knuckles. 
<laughs> Dang it. Went too fast. All right, let's do this. Darn. All right, jump. Oh, jumping is so nice. Having to do all of those races before where like I would have to like lead her around things. All right. Here we go. Jump. Dang it, almost there. <laughs> that startled me because I thought we like had a car showing up because it honked at us. Wow, Steve really made a pretty intensive racetrack. Oh wow, does this take us over by the castle? <gasps> wow, we get to run by the castle. We haven't been over there yet. There's still so much to explore. I'm so excited, you guys. All right, come on, Melanie. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is a lot bigger of a racetrack than I thought it would be, but it's very pretty. Go, Steve, go. All right, and turn, and turn. Keep going, Melanie. Keep going. Pretty sure this is the end. Right here. And boink. Yay! We're almost a full minute slower than everybody else, Melody, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We have still managed to pull off a few of our a few of our um needs there. Okay, let's come over here. You're doing really good, girly. Alright. So that actually increased Melody Warrior's experience quite a bit. So that makes me very happy. Um, I think your horses can go up to level fifth. 10? Uh, I'm thinking level 15 is Horse Haven, so I probably have that backwards. <laughs> oh, goodness. But let's go over here. We need to go up to the town official. And we're going to finish up our last two quests of the day. So let's come talk to this gentleman. Hello, Councilman. And rent for the horse market. Hello there, Saga. Good to see you've got the rent from Ferdinand and Eddie. Thanks a lot. Say hello to them for me. Everybody seems really happy with them. They seem like really awesome people. So... They must be pretty, they seem pretty cool. Like, they're just nice. They're not like some people who are like, yeah, do a quest for me. And I'm going to be sneaky and conniving about it. Like certain little tiny boys in Fort Pinta. All right, let's keep going. We're going to go over to the horse market now and deliver the carrots. And then we will have accomplished quite a bit for the day. So I'm going to be very, very happy. And we'll have to see what other quests we can continue to work on. Now that we can jump, I don't know if there's any like linear quests we really need to worry about. So let's come on over. Let's let Eddie know that we have managed to get his carrots. Oh, I see you've got some carrots with you. The horses are going to be in a much better mood now, that's for sure. Yay! And we have completed that. So all of a sudden, we have already gotten like a fantastic reputation with the horse market. We have fed the birds. And it has basically been an amazing day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you all next time for more adventures here in Star Stable Online. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.